Hi, I'm Mari Pfeiffer, writer and web designer, and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to show you a really easy way of creating a full screen, fully responsive slideshow for your website that also includes text overlay. I think this is a great way for photographers and creative professionals to show off your work and also to get visitors to browse the rest of your website while they're there. So in this session, I'll be using the Impact Stack by Joe Workman. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the finished project. Um, as you can see, it's a slideshow with crossfades from one slide to the next. It's full screen and um, there's the text right there overlaying the entire slideshow. It's in one place. It's static the whole time with a button that doesn't right now go anywhere, but if you clicked on that, it should go to um, another part of your website if that's how you set it up. All right, so let me get out of full screen and I'll take you into Rapid Weaver and show you how I put this all together. Okay, so here we are in Rapid Weaver and we're in preview mode. So again, the same slideshow is happening, is loaded here and transitioning from one to the next. And we're for, I'm going to start with adding the uh, slide images first and then adding the text. So we'll first go into edit mode and here's what the page will look like. This is the finished version. I'm just going to show you how I put it together, creating a new page. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I am using the foundation theme by Joe Workman to put this all together. And um, it, um, I'm also using stacks and the impact stack and the target stack. Okay, so I've already added a stacks page because I'm creating a stacks page. I put the site styles here. You have to use that whenever you're using foundation. And um, I'll expand that for you quickly. It basically just, that's where you set all of the text colors, element colors, swatch colors, and so on in foundation. Um, but since I've already set all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and hide that and use more space here for creating the, uh, the page layout. So the first thing I'll do is go to my library and let's see, find the impact stack. I really should have these organized better, but I don't. Okay, so there it is the impact stack and I'm going to close out of the library for a few seconds. And the first thing I'll do is you can either double click on that impact uh, handle there, I guess you'd call it, or the I button for inspector. And the first thing I'll do is add, let's see, three more impact image slides. Okay. Easy peasy breezy. All right, so now selecting the first one, I'll go over to Inspector, click Browse, and start adding my slides. Now, by the way, um, if I were doing this for real, I would add alt tags. Always add alt tags. Those are very, very important when you're adding pictures or graphics and so on. It's important for people to know, for browsers, for um, search engines to know what's there. All right, so I'm going to keep adding pictures. I'm going to select the last one. You know you selected it when it's in blue. Click Browse and add, I think it was this one. All right, so now we have all four images ready to go. Now we've got to set up Impact so that it works the way we want to. Now I'm actually going to show you how not only to use this, but I'm going to be using a lot of default settings. I'm not going to fool around with it this month. Uh, with, <laughs> I'm not going to change that much that's already here. Okay, so first thing is under impact setup, I choose size, full screen hero header. That makes it just so easy. Um, it creates that full screen background there with the slideshow. And minimum height, I'm not gonna touch. Image alignment, I want this to be centered through all four of these options. And the animation, I like the fade, I like autoplay. You can switch it to once only. Um, but I like it to loop. Uh, randomize the slides, that's kind of nice. I do like the default settings for the slide duration, the speed, the initial fade in, and so on. So I'm just going to leave all that the way it is. So now that we have that done, let's go ahead and click preview and see what we have. I'll click the inspector closed. So I don't know if you noticed, but the order of the slides is a bit different from the finished project that I just showed you, and that's because I selected randomize slide order. So I think 
you know, you don't have to do that, but if you have five slides or more, we only have four here, randomizing it is pretty nice. Okay, so the next step is now to add that text here to the lower left-hand corner. So go back into edit mode, and I'm going to select impact again. And this time under, let's see, where was it? Impact setup. Here it says foreground none. That means there's nothing in the front, but I'm going to choose floating. And what is that? It tells you exactly what it is. It's the same on all slides and you can pretty much just put, put it there and it never moves. It's static. So it's pretty nice. Now in order to put it in the right position, I'm going to use the target stack. So I'll go back to my library and there it is. Just drag and drop it in there. And within that target stack, I am going to add a column, just one column, foundation column. Uh, I need a button and two titles, two headers. So I'll just drag another one up there. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the information here. And let's see, still photography. Ulsulf um, Wolf Austal is my husband. He is a cinematographer. He actually is not a still photographer, although he does love to get out there all the time and use his camera and um, take still pictures. And so all the pictures in the slideshow are his. Um, I'm going to quickly style the two headers. So I'm going to select that uh, header here, go to the inspector. I want it to be left aligned. Oh, I want the size to be an H1 page title, nice and big, left, font default. And I want this to be the alternate site style, which I set to white. And that's it. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. This one will be an H2. Align it left, and then switch that to the alternate site style, which is white. And then for the button, I've selected it there, and then I'm going to change the text to Enter Site. And then let's see, Site Style will also be secondary, so that will be white. The size, I want it to be small. I want it to be aligned left. I want these um, to have round corners on that button, and I want this to be a ghost button. So when you first see it, the picture, the slide behind it shows right through the button. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look again at what we've done. I'm going to close the inspector again. All right, so obviously this title, what it is, and the button are in not quite the right place. This should be down here. So we'll go back into edit mode and selecting the target stack, I'm going to set that up. Now, I'm leaving the width, height, condition, and the position to the default settings here. What I really want to target is the vertical and horizontal positioning. So down here, I'm going to go bottom percent, and let's see, let's make that 5% from the bottom. In other words, it means it's going to be 5% there's going to be a 5% distance between the copy and the bottom of the slideshow. And here, the horizontal position will be left in terms of position, and I will just keep that to 1%. So it'll be 1% away from the left margin there. Okay, so now let's take a look at what we've created. Hit Preview, and bam, it's right there. It's exactly where I want it. Pretty nice. I mean, I could move this a little bit over to the left if I wanted to, but I think this is this is adequate. It's sufficient. Another nice thing about Rapid Weaver is that you can preview it in landscape mode, and then again in iPad Portrait gives you an idea of how this will look on an iPad. It's not 100% accurate, I don't think, but it's pretty good. And again, what it might look like in an iPhone. So. Oh, excuse me, I didn't turn off my um, messages. All right, so we'll go back to full width. And why don't we preview that in an actual browser again? 
And there you have it. A beautiful full page, full screen slideshow with beautiful fade transitions. This is fully responsive. We've got our text here nice and static in the lower left hand area. And that's it. This is a great way to show off your artistic work or even if you have products that you want to highlight this way, it's a great way to do that. Um, and I think it's also another great way for you to get your visitors to visit other parts of your site because if they see this and they see how gorgeous it is, they will feel like they have almost no choice but to go and look at the rest of your website. All right, I hope that this has been helpful to you. I hope that if you like it, you'll click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos regularly on web design, copywriting, and running a small business. And if you have any questions or you want to chat with me, um, send me an email or connect with me on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube, or just drop any comments or questions you have in the space below this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon.